Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be sharing a really cool DIY that helps you mattify and set your makeup without spending like $40, $50 on a loose powder or anything like that. And it is all natural. So what is this powder that I'm talking about? It is arrowroot powder. I actually heard about arrowroot powder being a setting powder, translucent powder, you know, mattifier on top of your makeup um, quite a while ago, but I never really experimented with it. And I actually bought it for trying to create, you know, DIY makeup and that did not work at all. <laughs> um, however, uh, a couple days ago I was like, you know what, let me just try this setting mattifier um, translucent powder thing um, DIY and lo and behold, it actually works. And I'm going to show you guys today how I actually put it on and how it works for all skin types. It doesn't leave you looking ashy, especially I have dark skin, so it doesn't look you, make you look ashy. And it actually stays put for most of the day. Uh, I wore it for about like mm, six hours or so, and it really held my um, my makeup. I just I just put it in my T-zone area and I didn't really put it on any other area because I don't get too oily in other areas so I didn't even bother. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, how I put it into my T-zone area. So first you're going to definitely need some type of dish that you can pour the arrowroot powder into. And I just have this little, I don't know, this little plastic little dish thing and I'm not going to show you it's gonna fall everywhere um, and I just poured a little bit and you really don't need that much and I just have my dampened uh, beauty sponge here is the real techniques uh, sponge and I'm just going to dab the center of it as you can see I'm not dabbing this part or any other parts I'm just dabbing the center piece of I guess you would say it's the back of the back of the sponge and I'm just gonna dab it in here Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation very, very lightly um, all over my face. And then I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer underneath and some highlighter and a little bit of bronzer contour. Um, just FYI what I'm setting. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit on my sponge. I hope that you can see. Just a little bit. I know it looks, it's going to look like a lot. If you, if you picked up a little bit too much, I just kind of put it, dab it back onto the plate. And okay, this looks like a lot, but don't worry. I've seen way more uh, translucent and setting powders, mattifiers that people put on their face. And so it'll be okay because it'll, um, it'll blend out really, really nicely. So I'm just going to start with my um, the center of my forehead, which is where I get the most oil. <laughs> and I'm just going to start putting it on. As you can see, it's like starkly white, like crazy. And I'm just going to put it on. And it's a little bit messy, so, you know, just, you're gonna have to deal with the mess because I can see all the powder all over me, kind of. <laughs> um, okay, I look a little crazy, but now I'm gonna take the rest and put it down my T-zone area. And I'm just going to start patting it into my skin. You could leave it to bake and see how it how it is on your skin as it bakes. Um, I haven't tried that um, yet. However, this definitely works. So I'm just going to pat it all in. And remember, definitely use um, a da dampened beauty sponge or blender because then it'll go on really nicely. Okay, so the forehead looks good. It looks really mattified, as you can see. I, I hope that you can see. And now I'm going to be on my nose. And here. And for today's purposes, I'm just going to put it a little bit under my eyes. <laughs> And as you can see, it's definitely translucent and it's super mattifying. Like, maybe I put a little bit too much today, but it's super mattifying. 
you just need to blend it really nicely so that it doesn't look starkly white. And there you go. It's completely matte and it's really shine free and it lasts for quite a while on me. And I really loved it and I thought that it really made my makeup sit really nicely and well throughout the day. And I hope that this little DIY, little hack, uh, helps you as well. And so that you don't have to spend tons and tons of money on, you know, just like a translucent powder when you can spend your money on, you know, a new makeup palette or a eyeshadow palette or, you know, something else that is more worthwhile in my opinion. So yeah, I hope that that was helpful and I hope that you come back very soon to see another video of mine and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos and would like to keep up with me. And I am also on Instagram at Elizabeth Mayraki. And yeah, so until next time, I hope that you are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you very soon.